Okay, what we're doing is some microwave things. We've got two main things we're doing. We're going to try to talk to a couple of guys in Salt Lake and down by Mount Nebo on 10 gigahertz microwave frequency, also possibly 24 gigahertz, which is a really high microwave frequency. And then tonight when it gets dark, we're going to try to talk to Clint, which is on the Mount Nebo loop about 73 miles, and we're going to use light. We'll have a red light. Uh, not a laser, but kind of like a laser communication. So that'll be kind of interesting. We just barely got up here. We got tons of junk to unpack, so we're going to start unloading tables and tripods and things. Um, um, Rob? Yes. Okay, I'm I'm trying to tune in the beacon. Okay. The beacon is on the Oakers, which is way down there. Okay. It's a little very low power beacon. Now this stuff here takes a while to warm up, so it drifts real badly. But you can kind of hear the just drifting through. But it'll, after a while, it'll stabilize. But we're at microwave frequency, really, really high frequency. Where and this, are we at? 10 point, yeah, 10.36A160 gigahertz. 10.3 10 gigahertz. And um, I'm trying to tune in a tone, and if I, it drifts 100 hertz, I can hear the change. Wow. So, and it takes a while for this to stabilize because it's all homemade, inexpensive stuff. It's not commercial, you know, $20,000 equipment. So it takes takes a while for it to settle down. How accurate do we have to be pointing the uh, antenna to that? It's a strong signal, not strong not. Signal. Okay. See, I'm only picking it up on this little bitty antenna here. See, th this is the antenna. Wow, right there. Huh? And uh, just turn that. Just this. Yeah, and uh, it picks picks up the signal quite well, but it's drifty right now. I keep keeps drifting out. There it is. He just keeps sending his call letters over and over and over again, like any good beacon. Just beacons. Okay. Yeah. DN41AJ. We are at DN41AJ. K7OEI, K7RJ. Hey, I hear you well, Clint. I was here in uh, Dell a little bit. I think he was sending CW. Yeah, you're about S8 on my uh, on the meter here, and I've just got the horn and uh, just kind of in the off in the general direction there. I've done nothing to try to tweak things. Oh, for the records, DN41AJ. Okay, that'll do. That's good enough. What time is it? We'll make this official. What time is it? 7.07. Yeah. Okay. okay, close enough. Dale, uh, Dale, I was here in your CW. Are you on here? Okay, let's punch the, a bu the AM button, see what happens. K7RJ. We're going to try AM, which is, that'll be interesting. K7OEI, K7RJ. I hear you, but not very good, Clint. K7OEI, 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 K7RJ. I think we've lost it here. What's there? Six. That's what's wrong. Hey, K7, I, heard you, I heard you quite distorted, but uh, if you've never tried to tweak your AM on the 817, it'll by default sound terrible. No, I've never. That's the first time I've ever pushed the AM button.
Oh, it doesn't make any difference. I don't have any of that gear pulled out yet, so it doesn't matter. And right now. Turn in the beacon again, recalibrate. Get, uh, yeah. This is yo. We're right in this. Yeah. It's a. Uh, this is a satellite antenna that people use for picking up the TV. You know, at home, the home satellite. The di this a dish network. This, but uh, it's called an off-center fed antenna. Ordinarily, ordinarily these reflectors have the antenna right here, and you send it. It sends the signal straight out. Well, this one's kind of a funny one in that it sends a signal at a funny angle, and we're actually are tilted wrong. Something's got tilted wrong on this, but um, that's what's it. The signal actually goes off at an angle like that, so I've got to tip it way down like that. Yeah, that looks better. So the signal will actually go out like this horizontally, even though the antenna looks funny. But the real focus, it's really a parabolic antenna really wants to curve down like this and go down like this. So it's a big antenna like that, but they've just cut everything away except this top part. So, so the focus is really way down here somewhere. And, and uh, you can do it with grid squares or you know, grid squares gives it about a mile square. He's going to give the, so we need to write it down because you won't be able to put it in that quickly. Oh. That is cool. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Something wrong with people like this. That's <laughs> great. Over those mountains, there are a little microwave signal and wavelengths about that long. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, we're north. 39 degrees. 36. Yeah. 18.788. Uh, go ahead. Oh, do you, yeah, no, this is the one we just made here. Oh, 39.36.706 by 111.18.788. Alright, and what's your elevation again? What is our elevation? 9,400 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, feet. I'm just around 9,300 right now, more or less. Well, that's exactly the elevation. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I don't know where you are. I guess I could theoretically find a bright red light in your direction, but oh well. Uh, you're getting cold and your pass has expired. <laughs> How many? 128 miles? 128. Hey, Dave? Yes, sir? Yeah, we just uh, checked it on the uh, GPS, punched, in it, punched your coordinates in. You're 128 miles from here, 128. Yeah, that ain't bad. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs>